I just got back from the Sword and Laser mailbox, and we've got three packages. This one actually came in last week. It's called Iceling by Sasha Stevenson. There, you can see Sasha Stevenson's whole name. It is coming out on December 13th, 2016. It's about 17-year-old Lorna and her sister, Callie. Callie's adopted. Callie doesn't understand human language because Callie comes from an Arctic island where they found hundreds of other babies who don't understand human language. They can't speak it or understand it, but they do have their own language. So check out Iceling. Find out what's up with the Icelings. This came in today, and it is Nishi Shaul's Everfair. I will pull out the description here. Everfair, the brilliant neo-Victorian alternate history novel from acclaimed short story writer Nisi Schell, potently explores the question of what might have come of Belgium's disastrous colonization of the Congo if the native population had adopted steam technology as their own. I, I love that idea of like, hey, what if colonization had gone differently and technology was picked up faster? Everfair by Nisi Schell is coming out on a day sometime in September, September 6th, actually. So you won't have to wait long for that one. All right, to this next one. This is The Crimson Skew by S.E. Grove. Looks better when you hold it right side up. Uh, at the end of the Golden Specific, Sophia was on her way home to Boston. I guess that that's a little bit of a spoiler. She was on her way home to Boston. Crimson Skew by S.E. Grove, of course, is a sequel. It's the conclusion to the New York Times bestselling Map Makers trilogy. And it's coming from Penguin Random House as well on a date to be determined. Oh, oh, it's already on sale. It came out July 12th. So it's been out for a while. You missed it. Well, don't you don't miss it because you can still get it. Go check it out. Crimson Skew by S.E. Grove. That's a look at the Sword and Laser Mailbox. A little scattered today, but I hope you enjoyed it. And you can find more great suggestions of things to read at swordandlaser.com. I will see you there because I'll be watching you browse.